I know nothing about this. Broncos in Moab. We're out here at the 2000. We're out here at the 2022 Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. In Broncos, we're not in Jeeps at all, and we hope to be crashing the party with Bronco Nation, who will be coming out here in a little bit to run Onion Creek Trail. It'll be interesting. We've wheeled the Broncos a little bit since we got here but nothing too intense and we don't really even know how intense this trail will be but we're definitely interested in linking up with a bunch of other broncos to see how they're doing on these trails what's up how's it going good have you guys checked in already no hey welcome i know nothing about this <laughs> let's do it what's your name i am bubba and you guys camping here no nope. just hanging out during the day we're okay. staying uh we have a place in town perfect okay let me have you fill these out and there's breakfast every morning at the lodge, 6.30 to 10, across the way. Okay. And then they're just getting ready to go on a trail ride right now. Sweet. Yeah, 1.30, and then tonight at 5, they're going to do another trail ride. Are they meeting here or over there? Yes. Right, I think right here at 5. Okay. With um, Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy. So that'll be awesome. All right. Thank you. Okay, see ya. Yeah, we made it to uh, Bronco Nation's base camp here at the uh, Red Cliffs. And we're going to line up and go on a run with them. I think tonight we're gonna go on a roll with them too. So, see what we have to do next. Feel like you're at home, finally? I do, <laughs> finally. Finally, get to play with some of the Broncos. Welcome, we're really happy to have you. We are doing Onion Creek to Thompson Canyon and then finishing up on Polar Mesa before we come back down uh, Castle Valley. How many of you have been to an off-rodeo? Which one did you go to? Uh, one in Texas. Texas? Here. Here? All right, let's load up. We're snapping into a Slim Jim. Okay. Let me go Slim Jim. Is this boxed water? Yes. yes. It's weird. Okay. I like your setup, man. I like Thanks. those back fenders. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we just got this back uh, Friday afternoon from paint. And then we put it back together. <laughs> it looks so, good. Thank you. So we've linked up with Bronco Nation at base camp. We're now headed out to the Onion Creek Trail. Our first impression of Bronco drivers is very, very cool. They're very nice people. Bronco Nation was nice enough to, is very well organized by the way when we got there. They seem to really have their plan together, but they're very nice, generous. They offered us boxed water, these giant Slim Jims. Wished us well on our zenful journey through Moab, led by Off Rodeo. Here we go. Here we go. Do it, yes. Dude, I gotta shake your hand. I love your video, brother. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Nice to meet you, yeah, man. Say hi. What's up? What's your name, bud? I'm Garrett. Garrett? Yeah. Cool. And hey, it was nice great to meet you. Yeah, there you is everyone in four, four high? If you have a stabilizer disconnect, which will be on your hero switches on the dash, it's the first button to the left. Hit that. Yes, they're very thorough in the, uh, I mean, you have to assume that most people on this run are very new to the platform. They may have never owned an off-road vehicle before. There? good time. This is a side of Moab I haven't seen before. Kind of fun to go up here and do the views and not just bounce off rocks. Yeah. Yep.
All right. What's your name? Shane. Sorry. Shane. We're with Shane, and you've been a Bronco owner for how long? Six months with the new one. Six months with the new Gen 6 yeah. Bronco. Okay. How was the trail ride today? Honestly. Uh, honestly, I probably would have never even put it in four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty easy stuff. <laughs> have you done any modifications to your Bronco? No. I actually, I added a Bronco Buster tie rod supports uh -huh. and rack and pinion seal kit. Okay. But other than that, no like suspension changes no, or anything like changes. that. What's your next mod? I think when I get home, I'm going to put a reverse cut nine inch up front. Yeah. On yeah. coilovers. On coilovers. On coilovers. Coil, yeah. So What's you're it? linking it. Linking it, yeah. Solid axle. Solid axle. Yeah. Got it. That's, right. the, that's the next step. So All right. you guys see me next year off oh, 39s with, 39s. A, with a, not four nine inch up front. Got it. All right. That's that's extreme. So we're out here for Bronco Nation's Sunset Run. It's going to be led by Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy. And what do we have here? But the new Raptor Bronco. I think they're taking it out with us this evening, but I'm not entirely sure. And I don't know all the specs on it, on this one in particular. So hopefully we get a chance to talk to them later on. Get some ideas of exactly what's going on here. I was messaging on Instagram about this. and. Yeah. Last night or yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Can I pop the hood on this? Yeah. Is that okay? Oh, look. They put struts on it, too. Struts? No. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. It's a V8. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the uh, 3.0, right? Yep. Nice. Yep, 400 horse. Sweet. I don't know if anybody's seen under the hood of one of these yet, have they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I, don't I asked permission, so. <laughs> That's what a three liter looks like. Interesting. That's pretty clean. Same as the uh, Ford Explorer. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Jerry, will you pop your hood real quick, please? Yeah. Let's try to figure out what does we're going like to be Explorer? replacing the four cylinder with. Is it the Explorer three liter? I believe it is the same 3.0 EcoBoost out of the. Uh, the Explorer doesn't have a 3.0 EcoBoost. Yeah, it does. Huh? Does it? Yeah. yeah, it's what a lot of police departments use. Yeah, I used to have one. Mine's a 3.5, so they have a 3.0 now? Yeah, they have They've a had one for a while. Interesting. Uh, I thought the 3.0 was NA. No. Nah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. I had it for two years. It was awesome. Right. Yeah. Fast, powerful. The Interceptor uh, police just crews use them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit too much at times. I mean, there's room for more. <laughs> That's the starting point. <laughs> Try, all right. Cool, cool. Um, Shut it. First impressions of the Raptor Bronco. Well, they're exactly what I've always had. It's hideous looking because of the fenders and the flares that are on it. Well, the fenders, actually, the quarters aren't that bad, but the flares are pretty terrible. You can see the uh, the upgraded rear axle looking pretty rad in there. The control arms are different. I mean, I'm excited for what it can do, but in all honesty, the aesthetics could be better. I think my Brago looks better than it right now, but under the hood is what I really wanted to see, and I'm pretty impressed with it. And I think we could put the same thing under the hood of our Bronco. Looking forward to it. Just, you know, run your pace that you're comfortable with, leave room in front of people. Cool. I also want to let you guys know that uh, he did something amazing today. We took a stock Bronco up Pritchett Canyon. I don't know oh, if you guys wow. know <laughs> what that is, but uh, we and saved a crusher and we took all the panels off it and took it up Pritchett and we didn't have to winch once. Well, he didn't oh, have to. Was that the Marin one? Uh, so oh, it was really cool, and uh, I think the content's going to be amazing. And, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys more and more, more events. And please don't ever hesitate to come say what's up and you know, hang out. We love this. Right now, we're going out to Dome Plateau for the evening run with Bronco Nation. There's like 40 Broncos here, so it's a great turnout. I'm looking forward to talking to some people when we get out there. But I am only getting colder, so I don't know how much fun I'm going to be.
What's up, man? I'm freezing cold. Hell, it is it. It is. Okay, the time's low. I get it. It's 50 degrees out there. But I guarantee you it's like a 30 degree wind chill. The wind is blowing. It's blustery. Blustery. What a great day on the trail with Bronco Nation today. Super mild trails, but beautiful scenic stuff that I've never seen before in Moab. It was really great to get to meet all the new Bronco owners. Some of them, this is their very first time ever going off uh, pavement. So it was really neat, really interesting to see their reaction or in, in how they were uh, using the vehicle out there. Super beautiful ending to the day where we all drove up to the top of the dome and got some great pics, but I uh, can't say enough. Bronco Nation was super hospital to us. Uh, yeah, hospital. Hospital. Bronco Nation's hospitality was uh, was great. They uh, they really made sure that we had everything from radios, water, snacks. Everything was on time. It was ran very efficiently. So kudos to them for putting on such a great event and an opportunity to get a first look at one of the the new Raptor Broncos. Can't wait to hopefully see all these people out on trails all across America and their new Ford Broncos. We're gonna go look for some more trails and, and see what else we can get into out here.